Let's try this again. More bingo preparations. I've done a little bit of tweaking to the uh, bingo uh, board. So hopefully we can get a good one. I'm going to try out some new strategies as well. If you've been enjoying the bingo, subscribe, leave a comment for the algorithm, all that fun stuff. It really does help me out a lot. Let's give ourselves one minute on the clock. Let's reveal the bingo squares. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Scylla without stuff, damage from the confession booth, Cthulhu, Cthulhu both castles, creature using only spells, uh, spectral swords, castle two orbs, Ouroboros, five guardians, a lot of castle two stuff, clock tower in both castles, bat kill, bat familiar, cross them on, and, okay, this one's awkward. I didn't like this one very much the first time, and it's very time consuming, so we might have to figure that one. Talk to Maria five times, that one's we're gonna, we're gonna have to keep track of. Um, blade hammer Gurkha, that's easy, five cloaked knights. Collect power miss without using soul of bat or gravity boots. Defeat all rocks with sword familiar. Use gravity boots on the librarian. Fairy for non-healing item. Two sub weapons. Two boss of sub weapons only. Devil familiar. Um, press the switch between castle entrance and marble gallery. That one's cool. I'm happy for that one. Uh, holy symbol. Doppelganger 10 before acquiring cube of Zoe. So we have to skip cube of Zoe at the start. Um, if we want to do that one. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. Cool. Pick up Leapstone before Form of Mist. So this one conflicts with the Karasamon one, which is pretty awkward. So I have an idea for that. I think we're going to start utilizing some save splits for any time that there's a square that can lock you out of something. I think I'm going to try and do a save split before I get locked out of it. And then save split to then do the thing where I, with a different save that isn't locked, if that makes sense. We'll try it out. I have to be careful with the squares that uh, lock you in general, and I might have to limit some of them. I like Leapstone before Form of Mist, but, I'll, but the only way to really do that efficiently is to go through Clock Tower. But then if I go through Clock Tower, I have to kill Karasamon, which means I probably want to give up this square. This square is really bad. Honestly, I think I might get rid of this square in general because this is two times now I've looked at this square and I'm like, man, I don't want to do this square. This looks miserable. Going to the second castle to kill a Karasamon, then going back to the first castle, that's so much time investment. So I think for that reason, I don't think anyone will ever choose to do that. Unless they're forced to. And it locks you, like you're locked out of doing it. That's pretty bad. Like I want the, wow, I'm really bad at the game right now. I want the worst square possible to be something like defeat Gallimoth as far as time investment goes. And I feel like the Karasmon one might actually just be worse than kill Gallimoth. Like I'd rather kill Gallimoth than Kill Karasamon in the second castle before killing the Karasamon boss. Genuinely. This freaking stone sword sucks. No library card. All right. Ouroboros is another one that's really slow and requires that you go to the second castle. Um, there's a lot of second castle squares in general, so I have to keep that in mind. Ah! Can't believe I freaking fell. I fell off, dude. I've done felled off. For real, for real. Okay, Iron Shield. Noglamir. All right, and we're skipping Cube of Zoe for right now. I think that's fair. So we're gonna have to grab Cube of Zoe later, which is fine. Ice cream. Ice cream is just, it's so good, yum yum. I mean, we need to come back later to press the switch between Castle Entrance and Marble Gallery anyways for the Forbidden Route. So we could either do Forbidden Route or 
We just come back once we have flight. Ooh, rune sword. That's actually a great weapon to have. Alrighty. Good starting weapon. Not bad, not bad. There are no imps in the first castle, so getting the devil familiar to kill an imp is going to be a second castle only one. Picking up holy symbol also might take a little while. Probably should have just... Oh, God. Use the rune sword earlier, but whatever. Rune Sword just kind of rips through these uh, enemies, especially early game. Banana. Do you ever go through the blue door to access the Maria cutscene over here? Uh, I mean, I could. Like, that's possible. Uh, there's no reason to pick up Spirit Orb, right? Yeah, Spirit Orb. There's no Spirit Orb squares. At least I don't remember one. So this is Maria number one. Wait a moment. Let's talk to Maria. Talk to Maria five times. We'll talk to Maria again if we kill Hippogriff. before killing Minotaur and Werewolf, which is very doable. This is the famous Jump King speedrunner, true. Is there a right emulator to play these days? Depends on what you mean by that. If you're just looking for an emulator to boot up and play the game for fun, uh, Duck Station is probably the best PlayStation 1 emulator for just general usage and like casual usage and stuff. Uh, but if you want to have access to all of the emulator tools that the speedrunners use, you have to use BizHawk. And if you want to submit your runs to the leaderboard, you have to use BizHawk or Mednifen. I think that cutscene might have gotten removed in the randomizer, Dave, as well. That's another thing that, like, I remember way back in the day that um, cutscene was causing issues, so. I think it got removed. Really? There's Doppelganger. Tribute. You steal men's souls There's and make them your there slaves. Go. There's Doppelganger. Thank you, Fierosius. Hope you're doing well. What up? We're doing some bingo. Honestly, most of the bingo squares overall, I'm very happy with. I'm very happy with how it's going. I think most of them make sense and are fun. So that's good. We definitely need this warp. Yeah, so far the only one that I think is like really bad is kill Karasamon in the second castle before killing the Karasamon boss. Because it's just too restrictive and you can lock yourself out of it very easily. So I think I might get rid of that one. At least from this board. This is the only square that I'm not like a huge fan of.
Uh, you will always have access to at least five Maria cutscenes. Um, no matter what. One of them might require you to get the... Uh, to beat the game. To kill Dracula. But you should always have access to at least five. Because you have uh, the clock cutscene, which always happens, no matter what, unless you library card. Am I missing anything here? I don't think so. No, there's nothing in clock tower that I need to worry about. I guess I could kill five cloaked knights. That's actually not too bad to do right now. But yeah, you have the the clock room encounter. You have the holy glasses encounter. You have the hippogriff encounter, which you can lock yourself out of. You have silver ring. It's one. I think the fairy is on here too, right? So now I have a... Was that an antidote? I wasn't looking. That's three. Four. There's five cloaked knights. But yeah, essentially, if you skip the Hippogriff cutscene, you can still do five, uh, talk to Maria five times. It just means you have to go to the second castle and I think get end game credits, right? Oh, uh, let me check to see if I can get it. I probably shouldn't have done that because I couldn't have grabbed it anyways. Very efficiently. Eh, yeah, Monster Vial. This Life Apple, sure. So now I have both a Uncursed and an Anti-Venom. That's huge. So we are locking ourselves out of the Karasmon one, but I've kind of accepted that this one sucks anyways, and I'm going to get rid of it. I mean, the end credits is, like, slow as hell. And I'm pretty sure the one that's in the, um, do I just get Leapstone? Yeah. Let's just grab Leapstone. Let's grab Leapstone and let's also do the Flea Ladder, I think. For that square. Uh, it's collect leapstone without, right? Mist. There we go. Let's reset the room though. For power of mist without using soul of bat or gravity boots. This might take a few tries. This was a terrible pattern. This is really unfortunate. I might be able to salvage this. Yep. Easy peasy. Yeah, a lot of early squares. You like to see it. I did lock myself out of using Karasamon as my sub weapons only boss, which is one of the easier ones, but that's fine. Okay. I think we grab Kibu Zoe now, because we could also grab this. Oh, 
Now we can start looking for sub weapons and hearts to fuel our sub weapons only boss kills. Um, I guess in the meantime, we go back to castle or outer wall. Grab mist. Is there anything else I'm locking myself from doing right now? Not really. All right. So that was a quick little detour for three squares. The Leapstone, the Cloaked Knights, and the Power of Mist square. That's pretty good. And the thing is, is I'm also like getting those squares while giving up a uh, rushing bat, which is usually pretty important early game. So I kind of like that trade off of having some squares that force you to put off getting soul of bat, but you can do them early. And since it's lockout bingo, you know, getting early squares is pretty important for board control and forcing your opponent into a bad spot, possibly sniping some of the goals they're going working on. Oh, shoot. You know what I just realized? If I want to talk to Maria five times, I'm going to have to kill Hippogriff right now. If I can get Holy Water, that would actually be great for killing Hippogriff with sub weapons only. Perfect. All right. So here's the plan. I'm going to grab the Aurox Warp. Or I could actually just do the shortcut between um, Colosseum. Yeah, that's better. That's probably better. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it that way. Or I can grab the Allrocks Warp. Kill Hippogriff. Shit. No matter what, I'm going to have to backtrack, which sucks. So I just think I'll do this backtracking then. Do you have squares that take you back to Power of Wolf? Yes. I have a square that requires that the player collects Power of Wolf and Skill of Wolf and Soul of Wolf. It's just not on this board. Extra five hearts, might as well. Um, I'm trying to prevent too many squares that require that you keep track of like 20 million things. So. There's sword level 13. I forgot to kill the other sword in the other um, thing, but whatever. I can also take damage real quick from the confession booth. That's the wrong guy. There we go. We got the purple dude, confession booth. Where is it? There we go. We'll kill Hippogriff so that way we can talk to Maria a second time. I could have swore there's a way somewhere on Bingo Sync to mark the squares with a number instead of just a star, but I don't know how to do it. I'll have to look into that because that would help as well for keeping track of things. Oh, I forgot to kill him sub weapons only. I'm stupid. Whatever. Impressive. Yeah, I don't see a way to like do that efficiently. Whatever. Um, anyways, I think we backtrack now. And then we get missed. And then we get Aurox Warp. I could fly up and do all rocks immediately. Do we have anything with gold and silver ring on the board? I don't think so. 
Yo, Suna, can I get some Hyjal Storms in chat for Suna, please? Thank you for the tier three. Free space. Free, sun. Free space? Hell yeah. Silver crown. I can kill these guys' sub weapons only probably pretty easily, right? There we go. Holy water's too strong. Holy water's too strong, baby. Oh. So we've talked to Maria twice. Got to remember that. Yeah, until I figure out how to, like, mark it with a number. Because I could just... I've seen people do it before. But maybe they're using a different bingo program? But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to double check. I could just ask Adeth, actually. Oh, I need to kill this guy. So now it's just the sword in the second castle that's left. That was level 15, I believe. You could also kill uh, Hammer and Blade. Where's Hammer, Blade, Gurkha? Isn't that on here? There it is. It's the center square. How do you make the Relics interface on OBS? It's a tool developed by Talik. Uh, it's his auto tracker. Um, I can just kill all rocks right now. Let me do that. It's a little slow, but I think it's fine. It's either that or I grab gravity boots real quick, which I actually probably should do. You know what? I'm going to go grab Gravity Boots first. I think that would have been the correct play. I should have grabbed Gravity Boots first. Because I need to Gravity Jump underneath the Librarian's butt anyways. So I'm going to do that. Go get Gravity Boobs. Yup. 10 out of 10 chat right there. You, you've, you've won the internet. Congratulations. Also, we did meet the sub goal, so, you know, we'll do a quick little party time here. Wee Party time! Everybody loves party time! Hold on, let's get the music going. Oh, wow! Poggers! It's amazing! I love it! Wow! This is amazing. Let me also... I should have done this a long time ago. There we go. That way it's less distracting. Thanks for helping me reach the sub goal, guys. Hell yeah. Spam your favorite dance emote. Now, go! Party time has been activated. Holy shit, that dinosaur is getting it, Lynn. What the fuck? That, that emote's crazy. Holy shit. God damn. All right, let's go get Zorlo real quick. Beep, 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 beep. 
Alright, party time's over. Thank you for participating in day, uh, daily party time. Daily sub goal party time. Appreciate you all. Let's go kill all rocks. Should I get the shortcut here? I think I will actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. We do have to do the clock tower puzzles. I could have done that the first time being in the clock tower, but it's so awkward. I think I saved that for right before going to the second castle, to be honest. I think prepping stuff that requires you do stuff in both castles too early is probably not ideal, especially if it takes a long time to prep. Like the clock tower puzzle takes a long time to prep. So I'm happy to skip it for now. Potion? I'll grab it. That could be useful for getting Silver Ring later. I'll take it. Dude, I'm starting to really, like, vibe with this bingo a lot, actually. I'm starting to feel really good about it. Now. We would have had the two bosses sub weapons only if I had killed Hippogriff with sub weapons only. I don't trust myself to do sub weapons only versus this guy. We could do Holy Water versus Cerberus as well for that square. So we'll do that. I don't need Echo for any reason, so we can just leave. Yeah, so let's just leave. Let's go to the library. Let's grab Soul of Bat. Then we'll also grab the Fairy Familiar. Get Cursed, so that way we can have the Fairy heal us. We also need to... We have to get the uh, Jewel of Open. Ooh, Mystic Pendant's a great item to just randomly drop. Uh, sword Bro, you gotta go, but Mystic Pendant, hop in. I'm really liking this. Yeah, we have to Gravity Boot the Librarian while we're there. We don't want to forget about that. We also have to grab the uh, thing. Um, I mean, I can do this now. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Cause this is two birds, one stone. And I can get it out of the way right now. Which is press that shortcut. There we go. Switch, and then I can kill the um the Cthulhu, right? Cause that's on here somewhere, right? Kill Cthulhu. Is it not on here? No, it is on here. Oh, Cthulhu. So we just have to kill a Cthulhu in the second castle at some point, which is nice. Should be pretty easy to do. Now we warp back to keep. We finally grab Soul of Bat. Um, I think... Do we gravity jump the librarian's butt first? Or after? That's a tough call. I think it's technically more efficient to do it after grabbing Soul of Bat. However, in a race scenario, you don't want someone to snipe you on it, so you kind of want to do it as soon as possible, I feel like. So sometimes you have to accept that the thing you're doing is less optimal than it is just rushing it for a chance to not get sniped. So I'm gonna try and practice like that. Oh, we can do Lesser Demon sub weapons only actually, now that I think about it. Lesser Demon will absolutely get owned by this Holy Water. And that could be our second uh, sub weapon only boss. Uh, oops. Where is Gravity Boot? Under the Librarian. There we go. 
Nice. I'm liking this route a lot. It's been 30 minutes, and I don't have Soul of Bat yet, but I don't feel bad about it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've been very active this whole time. Where if I had rushed Soul of Bat, I'd be in a worse spot overall, I feel like. There's no reason to get the... The other things, yeah. So I'll just grab Fairy Card real quick. In fact... Huge brain, watch this shit. Oops. Because I do have an anti-venom. Spit on me. No! Spit on me! Thank you. And then we have the fairy. Where is it? Boop. That was faster than going all the way to get uh, cursed. Grab Jewel of Open. Do I have anything to sell? I do. Anything in the shop worth buying? We'll do a quick little look. Uh, Alucard's not really worth. Medusa Shield can't afford. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, I can get the Life Apple. Might as well. What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. Where was it? Am I blind? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Farewell for now. What up, lobster? Also, what's up, Viper? How you doing? Hope the run's going well. It's it's been fun. I'm actually enjoying the uh, the bingo stuff a lot. I feel like it's in a really good spot in a lot of ways, which is really nice. I'm very excited to see people try and race this as well. What happens if someone dies? No. Once you click the square, you have it. There we go. That's boss number two, sub weapons only. So for example, if you did a save split that got you a square and then you reset, that's perfectly fine. There's our soul of bat. So from here, what is stopping us now? Uh, we have the devil familiar killing an imp and pressing two switches. Scylla with zero equipment we can do in a second. Uh, clock tower puzzle, I don't want to prep too quickly. We have to talk to Maria five times, but like, you know, we've already talked to her twice. And once we save Richter, so long as we do Silver Ring and Holy Glasses, then save Richter, that's five. And then everything else is like second castle stuff, really. Yeah. So I feel like we're in a good spot. I bought Jewel of Open, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I wasn't I could have just looked at the the relic tracker. I forgot to do that, but whatever. It's fine. There's a lot to keep track of, so I'm trying not to miss out on anything too big. I kind of want to grab the bad familiar while I'm here, because it's kind of close before going to the caverns. But it's also kind of far. I think I saved bad familiar for later. It's kind of awkward to route in right now, to be honest.
Bloodstone, not worth grabbing. Let's get Gold Ring. If I was in a race scenario, I think it actually is probably better to kill Scylla first. In case you're racing somebody to this point. Hmm. I'll take another Life Apple. Hmm. Yep, that's exactly how it works, Viper. The um, items are randomized. The relics are not. I have a better weapon. Rune Sword is starting to fall off a little bit damage wise. Took the ferry off. This is a time to check my weapons as well. Yeah, my weapons are pretty bad. Still, it do be doing damage. Kill the worm faces, please. Oh, if you just get right there when the worms are dead, you could also do that. That's good to know. There's Scylla down. We have to kill Gurkha as well, which is a castle entrance. Um, unless we want to do the one in the second castle. That is an option. I'm going to pick up a holy symbol, I think. Diamond. I mean, there's not like a bunch worth grabbing in the shop, so I'm not gonna go grab that diamond. I don't even I don't even think I'm gonna go back to the shop to be honest. What did I ever pick up a mana prism? I think I should y probably use it, right? I think I picked one up. I did not pick. Oh, I did pick one. I'm freaking blind. Uh, I should also. Oh, actually, it probably would have been better to use the fairy card now and uh, just drown myself, I think, to refill my magic. That probably would have been a smarter idea. Oh, but I have potions and stuff in my inventory, so the fairy would have, like, used the potions and shit. Which would have been slow.
Refill our magic. There is something funny about this wall. There is something funny about this wall. I don't think we need to use the heart refresh for anything, but... Alrighty. See, the thing is, the wall used to tell jokes, but now everyone's too woke. Can't even tell jokes anymore. Holy symbol, boom. Now we get familiar. He has a really funny joke about half vampire, half humans. But apparently that's racist. No, no one finds this bit funny. All right, I'll move on. Yeah, the fairy will talk to you. She's kind of supposed to give you hints about stuff. Like, that's kind of her job, as well as, like, healing the player. Alrighty. So we have to get the demon card while we're here. And honestly, we probably want to level it up. We'll have it flip the switch now. Because we're here as well. And I think pretty much everything else is in the second castle now. Let's summon the demon. Switch is pressed. So that's halfway done. Uh, clock tower puzzle, I think, is the last thing left, right? In the first castle. So we just leave. I'm going to do the clock tower puzzle. I'm going to do silver ring. I'm going to do Holy Glasses after. No. And then we'll go from there. Uh, re realistically, in order to win a lockout bingo match, you only need 13 squares total, because then you lock your opponent out of possibly getting uh, enough. There we go. I gotta be careful. This actually is kind of a problem. I use the mace for this now. Also, I can't do every square because uh, I guess I'll go this way. Yeah, might as well. I can't do every square because I locked myself out of the Karasamon one uh, in the middle left. Kill one Karasamon in the second castle before killing the Karasamon boss. I can't do that because I've already killed the Karasamon boss. I'd have to restart the game 
And uh, for that reason, I think I'm going to get rid of that square. This is mostly just for testing purposes. I think I'm going to do as much of these squares as possible just to get an idea uh, about them. But other than that, I already have this warp, right? Yeah, I do. Let's go get Silver Ring, then Holy Glasses, then save Richter. Let's talk to Maria five times. And then the second castle, we can do everything else, I think. Oh, I do need to get the Bat Familiar as well. So I think the plan is we'll get Silver Ring, we'll get the Bat Familiar, So that's talking to Maria again. So we're at three with Maria. from here we can grab the bat familiar and we could have the bat familiar kill a bat you know what I can do? Actually? Here's an idea. If I'm just worried about getting squares, I could do this. I think this is actually a really cool idea. That uh, card. Go, my bat, attack. Does he attack on his own? There he goes. There he goes, okay. There we go. And while I'm here, there's Gurkha, Blade and Hammer, and then we reset. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now we get holy glasses, and then we do the second castle stuff. All of this in 50 minutes? That's... That's pretty good. I mean, considering I'm not getting any of my squares stolen or blocked or anything by another opponent, it makes sense that I'm able to do it so fast. So once we start seeing, like, actual races of this, I imagine it's going to be a lot more interesting. <sighs> oh, yeah. We did the clock tower puzzle in the first castle. I do remember that. So we're prepped for a bunch of these. Ugh. <sighs> Probably want to do... I don't know. We need a test race for science. I mean, I'd be down to race this, but uh, as it stands right now, the Symphony of the Night racing community is a little, you know, preoccupied with other stuff. There's Holy Glasses and my fourth Maria conversation. So once we talk to Maria after saving Richter, that's five. Mm. And then... The closest Cthulhu is in Akhmadon's arena uh, area. Inverted all rocks as quarters. Creature using only spells can be done very quickly. Ouroboros is kind of out of the way. Uh, Devil Familiar is also kind of out of the way. The earliest imp would be in... Uh, chapel? So I'm starting to think maybe we do right side, even though left side is usually considered like the faster option most of the time. Oh, a library card. That's funny that we're getting that now. Uh, okay. Whatever. There we go. Then we have to wait for Maria to show up. And skip that cutscene. Maria's there. Don't worry about it. That counts as talking to Maria. I think it'd be very silly to force yourself to wait for Maria to actually speak. Although it'd be funny, but no, we're, we're counting it. Because I said so, we're counting it. Okay, so let's grab the warp because we need all of the castle to warps. And then... Honestly, what if I, well, I need all the warps anyways. The most efficient route would require me to skip some of the stuff on the right side and actually do left side first. So I'm gonna do that. So I want to do the clock tower and then do creature with just spells. And then warp back here, I think. This one is the intelligence 
ring, I'll keep that. Especially because I'm going to kill creature with just spells. So, might as well. Let's get the fairy card involved, so if I die, I can at least, you know, revive. I did get those life apples for a reason. Okay. okay. Two more switches. Nice, gargoyle. Fun. I think that was it. I couldn't tell. Yeah, that was it. And we'll grab another potion, because why not? Okay. Now we do creature spells only. And then we warp back to the right side. You know what's the issue of doing spells only? Is I don't have any magic. And I need to die. Thank you. It's faster than going to the save to refill my magic. Okay, fairy off now. Creatures only spells. I'll grab the Vlad Relic for the extra strength. So why not? It's 10 extra strength. Then we grab the warp. That's fine. I should also put the demon card back on. So that's two of the five warps now. So we should be able to clear this whole thing pretty quickly. Do we still not have a bingo anywhere on the board? That's very funny. Also goes to show that going for a bingo is actually kind of hard, right? Like, we've been doing as many squares as quickly as possible, and we still haven't gotten a bingo anywhere? That's crazy. That was a quick fight. Don't need that relic. What up, Uzi? Okay. 
We have to kill an imp with demon. Should be pretty easy to do. Last time we did it by just doing this, and it just worked. The demon eventually killed one. There we go. So yeah, Power of Mist is definitely the strat. Once we kill the Cthulhu, that's two Cthulhus. There's our first bingo. There's Cthulhu done. Boom. We have to get the sword as well, which honestly... I think we go this way, kill the sword. You go through Colosseum to get the Allrock's warp. This guy got so much health. God damn. All right. There's the spectral swords done. I think we grab the Allrox warp. Then we kill the Ouroboros. Or maybe even the five guardians first. The five guardians is going to take a long time, though. I don't have, like, amazing damage for that. Should it be more fast to just choose a line, five squares, and try and make all of them? Technically, yes. However, this is a the, the format when this is going to be raced versus multiple people, uh, like a 1v1 race, is that it's a lockout bingo. So if someone takes a square from the line that you're working on, you can no longer get that bingo. The line is then blocked. So then you have to find something else to do. So it's a combination of trying to find a line as well as just trying to collect as many squares as possible. Because you automatically win once you collect 13 squares as well in a race scenario. I'm doing testing, which is why I'm collecting all of the squares, essentially. But in a race scenario, I, I would have already won if it was 13 to 0, you know? I just don't have anybody to race with right now. Now, here's the real question. How bad is it to kill this fucking guy? With... Probably really bad. Yeah, you know what? Without shield rod, that square or duplicator, that square is rough, man. Shit. I might have to reconsider that one as well. Maybe make it kill one guardian instead of killing five guardians. Because one is definitely doable with, like, mediocre gear. It's just really hard. There's a save right next to it, so you don't have to, like... You know, force yourself into a scenario where you die and lose all of your progress. So I might switch it to kill one guardian. My defense is also very low. Which is uh not great, to be honest. Um You can kill them with a vile stack as well, maybe, if you have a power of sire. That seems plausible to me. Tetra Spirit before he activates? I don't think the Tetra Spirits will home in on him if he hasn't been activated. But maybe I'm wrong. And also, that's worth testing. For sure. So, that might be how I test in a second. 
Uh, I think I'm going to kill the Ouroboros first. Which one's the Ouroboros again? Is it the one in the first room or the second room? It's the one in the second room. I'll grab the warp as well. That's how you farm him in Bounty Hunter? Got it. Okay. First room is the... is dragons. Dragon D's nuts. If I remember correctly, you can just wing smash these guys. At least you're supposed to be able to just wing smash them. We have to wait. Give it a minute. She'll be here in a second. There she is. Thank you, fairy. Can I soul steal this guy? There we go. We'll go this way so that way we can get the last warp as well as have the demon press the last switch. And then we'll figure out the, the guardians. Thing. Another life apple might actually be useful. Ouroboros has a horn like a rhino. Good, good way to remember. Super Bingo. Ultra Mega Bingo. Forever Ultra Infinity Bingo. Oops. Alrighty. Death balls, not the death balls. Alrighty. Demon bro, press the switch. been pressed yet. There we go. And then we get the last warp. And then we figure out the guardian situation. We'll try the Tetris Spirit idea. That's all the warps. There we go. Let's take a look. We're locked out of doing the Karasmon one. I'm getting rid of this square. That's twice now it's come up, and twice I don't want to do it. Because it's just, it's just, it's pretty awful. It's like probably the most annoying square that I've come up with yet. So we're just going to get rid of it. So other than that square, 
we pretty much have the potential to full clear the bingo board in a little under hour 15-ish. Not bad. So I imagine at most these bingo races are going to come down to about an hour and 15 minutes of gameplay, which is actually great. So do you just do it from here? How many of these does it take? The way the square is worded, the idea is that you kill Karasamon in the second castle, and then you go back to the first castle to kill him again there. Holy shit, dude. This is how you farm him in Bounty Hunter? Crazy? No shot. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no way that's what you guys do. Holy. I mean, at least I can give myself a strength potion. Fucking hell, man. Christ, all of that just to kill one? And before that, I was already, like, I'd completed most of the game. So I think the square will be changed to kill one guardian. Instead of killing five. Because that's already a time investment, and you're already risking your life doing that, and you already have to be in the second castle to do that. So I think as a balanced thing, I think just killing one should be fine. And if you happen to have Alucard Shield or Duplicator, congratulations. The square is a lot easier. But yeah, we'll count that. That's pretty good, all things considered. To spend an extra minute of your time in the second castle to kill this guy, that's not too bad. All right. Good testing session. Uh, if you enjoyed watching over on YouTube, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm. It helps me out a ton. And uh, I can s hopefully... Uh, see you in the next video. Have a, have a good one. Bye-bye.